anything you get out of that one. Very simple. Let's see you get out of that one. There. Now see what you made me do? We weren't trying to help. Aren't we, but we... Yes. Well, don't help no more. I haven't won a game all day. Tough luck, Alfonso. Want to try it again? Yeah, might as well. There's nothing else to do in this town except to go to school all week and play checkers on Saturdays. What a life. You said it. Nothing ever happens. Go ahead, you move. Say, do you fellas have to annoy me? Yes, there's nothing else to do. Why don't you go out and look around town? Maybe there's a dog fight or something going on. That's a good idea. And if you see anything exciting, come and tell us. Okay, baby. Come on, Barky. I hope that you and your daughter will enjoy your new home, Mr. King. Well, after living on circus trains all year, I'm sure we will. Ooh, that's right. You do travel with the circus, don't you? Travel with it? Why, he owns it. Don't you, Daddy? I sure do, honey. Did you hear that, Earl? I said then. That I do, well, let's go back. Okay. Don't hesitate to call. And Lalo says, you own the circus, don't you, Pop? About there, yes, didn't it, but Yeah. Wait a minute. Let's get this straight. You see a man moved into Jones' house, and he owns a circus? And he got a pretty daughter? Yes, yes. That said it. This is the greatest moment of our lives. What are you talking about? Don't you see? Now's our chance to travel and see life. We'll join the circus. What do we do in the circus? Train animals. We trained Elmer, didn't we? Yeah, but how are we going to get the jobs? Very simple. After his daughter sees me, she'll make her father Horace. My personality never fails. Good afternoon, fair lady. We welcome you to our community. Oh, thank you. And a good afternoon to you. Does your father own the circus? Why, yes. Then please accept this bouquet of flowers as a token of our friendship. Oh, thank you. Won't you come in? The pleasure's all ours. Back to you, gentlemen. Take off your hat. Where's your manners? What about yours? Won't you boys be seated? After you. Now, what we came to see you about... Please, let me handle this. Gee, but you're pretty. Oh, thank you. Why, I bet your father's so proud of you that he'd do anything you ask. Well, he always has. That's great, because we want you to get us jobs in the circus. We're animal trainers. You are? Sure. I'll just show you some of our work. Elmer, stand up. Now tip your hat to the lady. Oh, that's wonderful. How's that for training wild animals? I bet your daddy needs men like us. I don't think so. He hasn't any monkeys on the show. Has he bears? Hey, take it easy, pal. I'm handling this. You can't train bears, can you? Sure, it's easy. Now look me in the eye. Does that scare you? Yes. That's just what they do to bears. They hypnotize them. Well, I remember one time in Africa. Where? In Africa. You know, you was with me. Oh, yes. That was a rare escape. And how? And was in the heart of the deepest jungle. And Porky and Buckwheat was leading the way. Danger was all around us. And everything was quiet, except the chirping of the boys. Turn back. There's danger on every side. 
hot danger. I live for it. Ah, ah, ah. Alfalfa never turns back. Follow me. I can use a few bears like that. What did you do with them? Uh, we trained them to act and uh, show them. Really? What kind of an act? A dancing act. Dancing? Yeah, that's right. You know, like this. Why, well, that must have been sensational. Say, I can use men like you in my circus. I think I'll give you a tryout. Come along, Darla. Put it over for us. Something tells me you bragged just a little too much. What do you mean? We're getting the jobs, aren't we? Yeah, that's right. I don't think they'll want to run away with any circus when we get through with them. I don't think so either. Now take this, honey, and remember, no laughing. Okay, Daddy. I wonder how he's going to try us out. Oh, he almost likely wants to train some little pussy cat or something. Mm. Come on. Here, Pop says to train this. I'd like to, but I just remember. Spakes and I've got a checker game to finish. You're not scared, are you? Oh, me scared? Oh. Then go ahead and hypnotize him. Oh, baby, look me in the eyes. Oh. 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 Set up, baby. Oh, oh, oh. It worked. I'll get some music, and you can teach him how to dance. Well, what are you waiting for? Go ahead. All right, stand up, baby, and follow me, and start with your right foot. One, two, three, four. One, two. Circus fever. And how? Look at him run. Oh, maybe this is the life after all. You say no more excitement for us. 
Oh, I tremble. Teacher, bah! I bet she's just like all the rest. They're all the same. I bet you make us do the same old stuff. Same. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear teacher. Good morning to you. I wish there was some way that we could get out of school today. Me too. Me too, neither. I know how. How? You just tell her that you've got a toothache and you need me to take you home. But I haven't got a toothache. Well, you will when I get through with you. Gonna be your Tuesday. Open your mouth. children. Right away, please. Children, I'm Miss Lawrence, your new teacher. She beautiful. Beauty only skin deep. We'll start the term by singing good morning.
just fine children. But why didn't you sing? Teacher, I'm too sick to sing. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Perhaps a dose of castor oil. Oh, no, teacher. She just got a toothache. Oh, that's a shame. Maybe you'd better go home. Yes, ma'am. Do you need someone to help you? No, ma'am. I mean, yes, ma'am. Do you mind taking him home? No, I don't mind. Come on, pal. Bye. Does it hurt very much? It sure does. Bad you kids are sick. You're gonna miss a lot of swell ice cream. Boy, are you smart. Forget it. Let's see what this is all about. You were going to take the little sick boy home. Um, what do you think, teacher? He's all well now, aren't you? Are you well enough to sing? You bet he is, aren't you? Then come in. Here, let me do that. <laughs> the stompers caught in the throat. your song, you may have the ice cream. Come on, Val, do your stuff.
that's a little school we gotta go to. Yeah. Well, there's no use going in now. But we might as well stick around and see what the kids look like. Yeah. Check your weight and sit down on the scale. Oh, I don't want to champ. Oh, boy, you're down to fighting weight. You've lost six pounds. Come on, wake up. We've got a whole lot of trends to do. And I was having such a beautiful dream. Say, what's the idea? I bet you're not a dowry. That's not a curry who? Him. Say, that looks like me. Something tells me we better call off the whole fight. Nothing doing. We ain't through training yet. <sighs> hey, Buckwheat, get on your fighting clothes. Okay, Banky. What are you gonna do now? Give me a rub down. Oh, there's no rest for the fairy. Do we have to do this? Mm-hmm. The book says so. Roll over. Now what? I'm gonna loosen up her joints. Don't make them too loose. Oh, okay, Chip, on your feet. We've got some shadow boxing to do yet. Follow me. Don't you think this has gone far enough? Stop grumbling. I'm doing all this for you. Go ahead and fight it. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm waiting for him to start it. Quit clowning. Ow! Now what? My shadow hit me. 
Never mind your shadow. It says in the book that a fighter has to have confidence. Have you got any? I don't think so. Well, after you lick buckwheat, you'll have plenty. Confidence. Hey, buckwheat, where are you? Yeah, yeah. Ready for the sparring? Yes, Banky. That's great. Come on. What is that for? Confidence? Take that off. Here again, boys. Porky, ring the bell. all the confidence out of you. What you me to do now? Lay down on the floor. I'll take care of the rest. Come on, pal. What happened? What happened? Look! Did I do that? You sure did. Boy, what a wallop you've got. Where's that butch? Bring him on. I'll knock his block off. Yeah. 
meeting is now in order. We all know that the McGillicuddy girls gave a party the other day, and not one of us was invited. Now, what do you say if we form a new club and call it the He-Men Woman Haters Club? <laughs> now, I think we ought to have a president. Must be the worst woman hater of us all. So I nominate Alfalfa because he hates women. To Darla from Alfalfa. Yeah, Alfalfa. What do you want? Bank wants you at a bond. What for? I don't know, but he says it's important. Jimmy Board. Yeah. Oh, all right. Say, fellows, will you do me a favor? Yes. Take this note and give it to Darla. Understand? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And keep it under your hat. Get me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Up there. Frankie, what's this all about? Alfalfa, we've just formed a new club and elected a new president. Thank you. 
boys. Hi, Dorla. Can we come in? Why? Surely. Come on, Charlie. Won't you sit down, boys? No, thanks, Dorla. We want alfalfa. Alfalfa? Yes, and we know he's here. Don't we? Yeah. Yes. What do you want him for? We made him president of the Heman Woman Hazers Club, and he's not supposed to talk to girls. Oh, the He-Man Woman Haters Club. Yeah, and he's got five swats coming to him when we catch him. <laughs> well, you can search if you want to, but I don't think you can find him. Okay, we'll look around. You better be going, Spike. Yeah. Won't you stay and have some ice cream with us? Sure, we'd like to. What about a dog? A club can wait. Huh? Sure. Uh, step right in here while Darla uh, gets the ice cream. Keep it up, we're doing fine. some nice cookies. Cookies? Oh, boy. Darla, you talk to the boys uh, why I go make some lemonade. That's a swell idea, Amelia. Excuse me. Have a cookie. Thanks. Have a cookie. Thanks, Darla. Have some cookies, boys. No thanks to your woman, Avis. Amy Borgie. Well, the boys over there are woman haters, and they took some. Not me. Since I met your cousin, I'm not no woman hater no more. Wow! Get in line. But Alfalfa, you know the rules of this club. You too. Stoop over. But I'm Sergeant at Arms. Stoop over. Stoop over. Uh, ow! Stoop over. I didn't do anything. She's going to from our alfalfa. So, a love letter. Don't let him get away.
Rabbit, what do you do? Drop him. Now go on, beat it. Let's play, boy. It means apple marbles. You mean they was your marbles. Well, well, tomatoes. I want one. It means my name is tomato. Do you want them back? Mm-hmm. Come on, let's get on with the game. You beat Darby. Ha, ha. Come on, Porky. Come in. Oh, Darby. Hello, Buckwheat. I see you're in trouble again. And how? By the way, Buckwheat, how old are you? Four. How old are you, Porky? Huh? I said, how old are you? Three or so. Well, three and four add up to seven, so I guess you kids are still young enough to need our protection. All right. Court's in order. Put your hand here. You promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and everything but the truth? I do. Tell the judge what happened. Ella, two times took my marbles, hey? And and two times, it was a base, he was made her, didn't he? Nice. So two boys took your marbles away and hit you with tomatoes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How big was they? It don't make any difference how big they were. We promised to protect the weak. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, bigger they are, harder we fall. Harder we fall. The sky is number one. You can show us where they are and we'll fix them. You're darn tootin'. We'll give them just what they gave you. Right, let's get going. Lead the way and we'll follow. We always get a man like the Northwest Mounted Unit. There you are. That's them. Wait here. I'm going to take care of this. I hope so. Say, did you two fellas take up a mater and smear it in two little boys' face and tuck the marbles away from them? Yeah. Come to think of it, we did. Didn't we? Yeah. But what are you going to do about it? Yeah, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. I just want to find out. Well, you found out, so be on your way. Thank you. Goodbye. So you're just going to take care of it, huh? Shh. Say, those fellas sure are tough. Do you still want your marbles back? Yes. What are we going to do? We'll do it my way this time. Here, come on. Hey, you mugs.
you came from the laundry basket. Come on. Your parents will be out front watching you. They'll get along there. Start with your right foot first and keep in time to the music. Go along, go along, go along. Places, girls, places. Now don't forget to come in on the second chorus. Very nice, children, Thank very you. nice. Oh dear, this is more than one person can handle. Ready? what you've done and you come here come here
going to sleep all day? No, I don't feel very good. Oh, but it's such a lovely day. Yeah, but I'm awfully sick, and I don't think I can go to school today. You don't have to go to school today. Oh. Because today's Saturday. Huh? Why did you tell me that in the first place? Hurry, get this right away. Clean every bit of the mud off of those shoes. Oh, uh, but today's Saturday. You clean those shoes. Oh! Alfalfa. Did you brush your teeth? Yep, both of them. Well, before you go outside, you comb your hair. Well, Tarzan don't never comb his hair. Oh. You're not Tarzan. Mr. Jones, a new truant officer. Uh, truant officer? Yes, and you better not let him catch you playing hooky. Boy, I'm going to get on the good side of him. We better go in and get acquainted with it. Not a bad idea, not a bad idea. Hey, mister. Yes, Miss Jones. I hope there's a lot of my children around here to play with. Oh, yes, indeed. They're all perfect ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, bye-bye. Have a lot of fun. <laughs> Ain't she pretty? Oh, boy, I'm going to be nice to her, because if she likes me, her daddy will like me. You took the words right out of my mouth. Hello. Come out. 
countdowns when she comes. Boom, boom. Why, Alfalfa, what's happened to Tarzan? He's gone Hollywood. Mom, a potato hadn't got a chance now. Maybe she ain't home. Well, we'll wait anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's enough of that monkey business. Now, you kids run along. And don't you come back. Careful, do. Thanks. Oh, uh, is only two of your family, Mr. Jones? Oh, no, no. I, I have a little daughter. Why, you don't kill me. Hmm, what a small world. Uh, is Mrs. Jones in? She's somewhere about. Well, I got something for her. That's all right, son. I'll give them to her. This funny looking monkey. That happens to be me, partner. Oh, uh, thank you. I'm a pretty good looking fella, ain't I? Mm hmm. Say, how much would you charge to haunt a house? <laughs> Personality, boy, personality. How'd you get in here? Brains, 
some brains. How do you know you got brains? Well, the gang was outside, and I toot the horn, and Mr. Jones came out and chased them away. Ain't that brains? that again, will you? Well, the game was outside, and I tooted the horn. Mr. Jones came out and scared him away. Then I handed Mr. Jones a bouquet, and I ripped them away to get a vase. Mr. Jones. Well, thanks. Al Pauper, you're some little acrobat. Thank you. Mm. He sure is an acrobat. Oh, that's not so much. Well, what can you do? Whatever you do, I can do better. I can still do it better. Don't mind me. Well, we're off, right? One, two, three, four, four five. That's no way to play. You're telling us. Well, come on down from there now and make it snappy. 